thank you to those of you who have contributed to my fundraiser so far. And thank you to those of you who are going to be contributing in the remainder of this month. I would like to introduce you to my friend Rose, who is the inspiration for this fundraiser. Let's hear her story. Hi Rose, thank you for joining me tonight. Yes. Um, so you and I have known each other through a small group for a little while. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how I got to know about you and your cancer treatments. Mm -hmm. And um, so can you just tell us a little bit about your diagnosis? Yes, uh, last fall I was diagnosed with breast cancer and um, started chemo in November, I think it was. I had seven months of chemo and then we did the surgery. I had a lumpectomy and now I'm in the middle of radiation treatment. All right, so seven months of chemo. What was that like for you? <laughs> it was a challenge. Um, it started out okay. But then as it progressed, I got uh, worse um, or accumulated uh, different kinds of uh, reactions or side effects. I had some issues with um, stomach stuff. I did end up in the hospital a couple of times because my numbers were very low. Um, some, of, some of the treatments were delayed because my numbers were very low. Um, but God helped me through it all. And um, I tried to keep the days that I had treatments usually were in the morning and then the rest of the day I would just stay at home and relax and rest. Um, and I did work, continue to work throughout the process. Fortunately, I was able to do that. Um, but it was kind of a challenge <laughs> for sure. And, and so because of compromised immune system mm -hmm. and um, you had mentioned to me that there was some severe fatigue that set in a couple oh, days yes. afterwards. Yes. Um, did you feel a bit isolated from the world or kind of stuck or? Um, a little bit. Um, on the days that I was home after treatment, um, of course, during treatment, I was able to read. I did some reading and crossword puzzles and that kind of stuff. Um, and then when I would get home, I was very tired um, and just kind of relaxed and was alone. So I guess a little bit of an isolation kind of feeling somewhat. So um, as you were telling me and sharing this with me throughout your journey, I got to thinking about something that I'd heard Sarah Douglas, um, the CEO of Stampin' Up! say in that um, it was her mission to help eradicate loneliness. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. going through cancer can be a lonely time mm -hmm. physically, but also emotionally. And um, so I got to thinking, like, what can I do? And this is before I knew that you actually had been a paper crafter. Yes. <laughs> I thought, oh, well, maybe she, maybe she would like some crafts to do. Like, I love crafts. Who doesn't love crafts? Yeah. And so we got to talking. You said, yeah, that would be, you know, that would be something that could do. might be a nice distraction. And, mm -hmm. and paper crafting doesn't take a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can make a card and then set the rest aside. And so that's how the idea for this kit well soon fundraiser is what I'm calling it, I okay. uh, came about. And so you are my poster child. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> for my fundraiser. And um, I just I just want to say that um, I don't know how many kits that we can get donated, but um, my goal through this fundraiser is just for patients at the cancer center mm -hmm. to know that there's somebody else thinking of them mm -hmm. and trying to encourage them and that through this distraction of the craft that paper crafters love, um, they'll, they'll have fun or at least that distraction and then they'll have something in the end that they can give to somebody else mm -hmm. and that can encourage somebody else, whether it's a thank you note or it's um, you know a birthday card or whatever they have. So I want to uh, thank you for the inspiration for this and I would just like to ask, you know, if you can possibly donate a kit, they range from $13 to $24. Uh, I will pay the shipping and tax associated. I'll make sure that they get delivered with a hand stamped card. And um, if any help you can give would be greatly appreciated. I think this is a great idea. I'm really glad you're doing this because it really helped the days that I was home that afternoons, I did do some crafting. Mm -hmm. And was able. So, I mean, I had some other crafts, crocheting, and that kind of stuff that I was doing as well. And it was a distraction and mm -hmm. took my mind off my issue. Um, and so, it was very helpful. I'm glad you're doing this. All right. Well, I'm Thanks excited you. about it. You're welcome. Yeah. 
And so because you are the inspiration for this, I wanted you to have the first kit that was donated. So it is a stamping kit. It's my personal favorite, the Expressions of Kindness. In fact, it's actually sold out right now. I'm hoping for more to come in, but um, I think you're gonna enjoy it. And um, thank you, you are a kind person, and I know that you're gonna love doing this kit and you're so sweet. giving cards to somebody else. Thank you so, so much. You're welcome. I appreciate that. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> I love Rose. She is such an inspiration. She has battled this diagnosis with absolute dignity and grace and determination. She is nearing the end of her treatments and all things are looking really good for her. I hope you will join me in supporting others like Rose who are battling uh, a cancer diagnosis and going through treatments that leave them feeling less than wonderful. Give them a little hope, give them a little encouragement, give them a little distraction from their day-to-day -day lives in the moment and help them to bring a little hope to someone else in the form of a card that they've made. Thank you for your support.